The weak hand for drummers, it is our Achilles heel. Oh. It is uh, our redheaded stepchild, like it is the forgotten child. It is, it is, we always have one. Everyone has one. And it's not the same for necessarily uh, guitar because, or, 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 you know, bass or something. The hands are doing two different things. They're moving in tandem. You're using them in different ways. But with drums, we essentially use the two hands in the same way. And so we have to figure out um how to work that we can and if there's one question i get consistently time and time and time again week in week out multiple times a week i answered a couple emails uh, just yesterday about it um and that is how do i work on my weekend like how do i whip it into shape how do i get it as good as my right hand or if you're left-handed how do i get it as good as my left hand so um and, and i think it's people are almost wanting you know a magical exercise or there's and it's really, it's a lot more complicated than that, but it's not really complicated, all right? We just need to observe what's going on. Um, so when it comes to dissecting and fixing the weak hand, uh, we are going to remember IIP. That means investigate, isolate, and prioritize, okay? So the weak hand is usually your non-dominant hand. So if you're right-handed, it's gonna be your left hand. If you're left-handed, it's going to be your right hand. Now let's talk about first, why is it weaker? Why is it, well, first of all, we do everything with our dominant hand, right? You eat, you, you uh, drive, you flip the turn signal, you wash your hair, you brush your teeth, everything is with the right, you write, it's with your right hand, okay? So, or your left hand, so it's with your dominant hand. And so, our other hand is just not used near as much. Let's look at playing. Let's look at a regular 4-4 rock groove. In just a regular 4-4 rock groove, two and four on the snare, the, my dominant hand is playing four times as much as my non-dominant hand. So this plays eight notes, this plays two notes. That's a lot more action than that weak hand is seeing, all right? So what we have to do is realize that this is just par for chorus because we have a dominant hand. So one of the things I tell people all the time, like if you want to work on your weak hand, start doing things with your non-dominant hand. Brush your teeth, uh, you know, uh, talk on the phone, use your left hand, like try to eat with your left hand, okay? That's going to just get it used more. But specifically when it comes to drumming, we have to remember the IIP, investigate, isolate, and prioritize. investigate what does that have to do okay the thing i get from people so often in drummers is i need to work on my left hand or i need to work on my weak hand can you do you have an exercise and i'm like well first we have to see what the issue is okay because there could be several issues are you having trouble with your timing on your left hand are you having trouble crushing your diddles with your left hand are you having trouble with volume control with your left hand are you having trouble with finger control with your left hand whenever you play the molar are you having trouble with multiple bounces in the left hand what's the issue that you specifically need to work on you can't just say oh my left hand's not as good as my right one well yeah I know, neither is mine, but I need to be more specific with that. So let's take, for instance, finger control. Okay, I can't play uh, finger. I can't play finger exercises as fast as I can with my right hand. You know, so you're playing this, and then you come here, and it's like it's just not working. Okay, now we need to investigate even further. It is my duty, volunteer duty, to investigate the crime scene. And you go, okay, what specifically is the issue here? Okay, well, uh, so we isolate the fingers. That one's pretty good. Uh, that one, that one kind of starts getting hairy, and the pinky's non-existent, right? So let's just say that's the deal. And, and so I would say, okay, cool. As a teacher, I would say, well, this finger is good. Let's look at this finger, and we would start going, okay, is it the strength? Is it consistency? What's the issue with the finger? And we would investigate and go as deep as we could into realizing that the issue. So now we've taken this issue of like this big dramatic, like oh. Yeah, the world's ending. You know, don't lie. Don't lie to me and yourself and act like you don't get dramatic in your practice time too. And you leave and you're like, the world's just dark and gloomy because I can't play that groove from that song. Like, I get it. We all do it, right? And and so what we have to do though is whenever we get just real practical, and go, okay, cool. So 
my fulcrum's cool, uh, my grip is, seems to be fine, uh, my middle finger is good, but whenever it comes to my ring finger, that's where things start going south, and then I, I just absolutely can't move my pinky at all whenever I want to isolate it. Okay, so that's the problem. When you're playing finger control, it's not that you cannot play finger control, you have a couple fingers that are the issue and you need to isolate those fingers individually. So I wouldn't go, okay, cool, so I'll just work on my... I, I'm going to work on this guy first, one at a time. So I'm going to be on a pad, I'm going to isolate and finger control. I'm going to be doing these exercises over and over and over to work on just that one finger. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate the next finger. And what I found years ago was that it wasn't that I didn't have the control, I didn't have the strength to throw the stick with that and so it was screwing up all of my finger control when it came to that. Uh, maybe uh, you've investigated and you realize that like whenever I play this exercise with the right hand lead I'm fine but when I play it with the left hand lead my timing's off and it's like so then we have a problem of is it the left hand really or is it the right hand not being used to playing on the E's and the U's. You see how we're diving deeper into this issue of like what really is the problem? Okay, cool, so I don't have a problem with this exercise when I leave with my right hand, but when I leave with my left hand, the subdivisions and timing and spacing gets off. So that's where I need to work on. I need to work on my subdivision, my timing and spacing. Maybe you're working on a molar stroke and you're like, you know, I can get the multiple bounces with the right hand. But when it comes to the left hand, it just, uh, it's just crushing. Okay, cool, so what's happening there? It's crushing. Okay, we're not getting as much rebound. Let's dissect that. When we're not getting as much rebound, what's happening? And so I'm gonna, as a teacher, I'm going to watch you play. And I see that, oh, when you hit the drum, you're actually, you're actually tensing up when you hit the drum. And that last second tense is what's keeping that from bouncing. Or you're gripping too tight in the back and those fingers are not allowing that stick to go. Or we just don't have enough control yet. Or, 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 we're looking, we're investigating. It's like, it's like we're on a, a fossil dig or something we're just digging and pulling back the layers and trying to find that one thing that's the issue and then we focus on that one thing all right so we investigate what the issue is exactly you need a specific uh, you cannot say well my left hand just won't work <laughs> no that's not okay let's isolate well i'm having trouble playing ghost notes at a low volume with my left hand ah bingo now we isolate it You see how I have to be very specific with what the issue is. And if you be specific, that eliminates the drama, all right? We're no longer like, oh, I don't know, my left hand, my weak hand is just horrible. I can't, you know, I'm heartbroken. We're like eating ice cream and watching, you know, like the notebook and we're all depressed about everything. Not that I do that at all um so but you know the feeling right we get dramatic we we I investigate we isolate it and then we prioritize so what does prioritize mean prioritize means we work it first we work it the most we work it the hardest if i am having trouble with my left hand finger control, double strokes. You see how specific that is? That came from me investigating what was going on. Then I'm going to isolate. As soon as I sit down, I'm gonna isolate and prioritize my left hand, double strokes, and finger control, right? I may do that on a pad, I may do that on the drum kit, but I'm going to isolate and prioritize that thing because I've invested the IIP. I'm gonna repeat it over and over. Investigate, isolate, prioritize. Prioritizing is whatever exercise we're working on, we're working on only that. So in other words, it's not like, well, I played that exercise eight times with my left hand. I'm going to play it eight times with my right hand. That's monkey practice. That's just like going through the motions. A monkey can do that. We're smart, all right? So what we need to do is go, actually, my right hand is cool. So I'll play the exercise once with my right hand. If I don't see any problems, I'm moving on to the next one. But I'm going to play it 53 times with my left hand because that's the problem. All too often, we're like two times with my right hand two times with my left hand oh why is my left hand not so good as my right hand let's move on right that's how we practice that's not it's not even all hands and feet are not created equal you have to treat them that way so whenever we isolate this and prioritize it we work it first we work it hardest all right so we're going to work it 50 times while we're working the right hand once. Why? Because the right hand's been working 8,000 times while the left hand's been working once in the past. So we're going to really prioritize that. And then we are going to uh, do it when we're freshest. 
So whenever I first sit down, that's what I want to be working on. And there's a uh, there's a story about um, and and I'm like maybe botching the story some Arnold Schwarzenegger back whenever he, in his bodybuilding days, um, he used to work out everything but his calf muscles. Right, they were his weak area. He was taller, it was harder to build them. And so he, if you look up early photos of Arnold, you see him in all these like weird poses. He's posing like behind bushes and he's posing in like water. And you're like, why are you doing that? Why are you like in a swamp posing? Because his calves were so small, it was embarrassing, right? But he had this great physique. So how did he fix that? Well, he investigated what the issue was. Obviously, it was his calves. He isolated it. How did he do that? He actually cut off all of his long pants at the knee so that, so that he would be embarrassed when he went out in public, so that people would see how small his calves were. And then he prioritized it. He hit it first, he hit it when he was freshest, and he hit it harder than he hit everything else. And that's what you got to do with your weak hand. There's no magic fix. You, if you email me and you're like, Stephen, can you give me an exercise for my weak hand? Sure, I can give you exercises all day, but is it the one you need? What's the issue? Investigate. Get in on a deeper level. Don't just accept that, oh, it's not working right. If your car wasn't working, what would you just be like, oh, my car's just not working. It just doesn't work. No, you're like, well, what's the problem? Well, it doesn't have any gas. Oh, well, that's a problem. What's the problem? Well, the battery's dead. Okay, that's a, see, we have something to fix. Then we isolate it and we prioritize fixing that and then the car works. It's the same way with our drumming. It's the same way with our weak hand. There is no magic exercise I can give you. But what I can give you is a method to investigate isolate and prioritize. Hopefully I have said that enough that you're going to remember to investigate, isolate, and prioritize your weak hand because if you will investigate, isolate, and prioritize your weak hand, it will no longer be weak. You do that one item at a time, day in, day out. That's how you fix your weak hand. So hopefully that has helped you. I get This is the question that I get probably the most more than anything else. Uh, people actually just wanting like hands-on help with it. Uh, and I talk to my members all the time about it. I get emails from them all the time about it. Like it, it's a deal and that's totally fine. But we, we have to look at it on a deeper level. So subscribe to the channel if you have not. Thank you for watching. Ding that notifications bell so you'll see when I go live, when new content is uploaded. I'm uploading three times a week at this point. So lots of new content coming out. Gigging videos, lessons, uh, different lesson series on different drummers. Uh, so lots of good stuff coming out as well. Click that thumbs up button if this has helped you. Share it with somebody you think it may help as well. And then leave me a comment. Like what's your issue with your left hand? Don't, don't just say it or with your non-dominant hand, excuse me, with your weak hand. Don't just say, oh, it just doesn't work. No, give me a specific thing that's wrong with your, with your weak hand. Put it down there and then go fix it today. Start now. Like, put, turn the, the phone off or the, the I was going to say TV, you're not on TV. Turn the uh, computer off and then go fix the issue. That's the only way you're going to move it forward. I'll see you in the next video.